I've written this video about three times now. So much has happened in my life in the past year that I've sort of been forced to. This is my school. It's my school in more ways than one. I attended preschool and kindergarten here. In fact, one of my core memories is being in Mr. Panter's kindergarten class and being one of the few students who went to school on September 11th, 2001. But this is also my school because this was the first place that I taught after getting my teaching license. When I attended in 2001, Leighton Christian Academy was a small private school in its eighth year. When I joined the staff in 2017, we were a thriving international high school, dedicated to providing a Christ-centered education and winning lots of state basketball championships. Unfortunately, in January of this year, our school was rocked by scandal. I don't want to get into it. There's a lot of competing narratives that involve a lot of people who I care about, and the lawsuit is still in progress. But it, of course, proved to be a difficult time for our school. I weathered the storm, though. Many of our staff did, because we love our students so much. Nobody is at LCA to get rich. We are at LCA to model for our students a life of curiosity, hard work, and compassion. We are there because our kids need us, and so our school carries on. I'm sad to say, though, that the school carries on without me this next year. After six years of being at LCA, my life takes me into a different direction of focusing more of my time and attention on my local church. I love LCA. I will always love it. It's been an extension of my personal ministry for years, but now it's time to move on. Working at a private Christian school was not easy. It is not easy. The pay is poor, and because you don't have a large staff, you end up teaching things that you never thought you would. In my case, those subjects include Bible, team sports, CrossFit, reading, music appreciation, ESL, and geography. My degree, if you're wondering, is in history. But my school has always had a certain charm to it, because we are an international school. Over the years, I've taught students from something like 60 different countries. It's been an honor and a privilege to get to know students from every continent. Well, except one. I want to help you understand the adventures that working at an international school has led me on, but I know that nothing can do it justice. I can't help you understand the magic of a school dance where there is music from Brazil Nigeria, Vietnam, Spain, Korea, Russia, and Jamaica. You just have to be there and feel the electricity. I can't quite explain with words how angry an opposing basketball team gets when our Brazilian student section mocks them. I understand that they should not do it, but you try telling 70 Brazilian boys not to do something. Nothing I say would relay to you the emotion of a young girl from Rwanda teaching the student body the story of the Rwandan genocide. And I don't think that I could adequately relay to you what it is like to be there for these students for their important moments when their family is an entire world away. We can't replace their family, and we would not want to, but we are invited to step in for birthdays and achievements and college signings and heartbreaks. Such is the nature of being a boarding school. Every school has the magic of watching a student grow up over the course of the year. It is incredible to see it in real time. But we also experience a student learning English over the course of a year, and finally learning to express themselves and who they really are. 
You get to see a young person come into their own and share their true, authentic self in a way that is so very heartwarming and that they'd struggled to do because they just didn't have the words. But me telling you about it is not enough for you to get it. Let me tell you, though, our school has been far from perfect. The food has historically been quite bad. We don't have a strong arts program, and in my six years, we have never had a high school principal longer than two years. But one thing that has never changed is that I love our kids. I adore them. I talk about them nonstop. I love learning about their homes. I love when they come to me for advice or just to hang out. I like learning their names and using them as often as I can to let them know that they matter to me as individuals. Even the students who I don't teach. Nothing beats the look of surprise when I catch them swearing in their native language because I've picked up on their tricks. This last week, I had many people ask me how I felt about leaving. It was one of the hardest decisions that I've ever made in my life. But by the end, I was able to tell them that I felt proud. I was proud of the impact that I had. I was proud to have had so many students tell me how I've been there for them and how they learned so much in my class and how they always hoped that I would be their teacher next year. I was honored when our graduation speaker said that she was going to miss me greeting the students by name every day with the biggest smile on my face. I'm proud to have been an imperfect teacher in an imperfect place, making a difference in the lives of our imperfect students. And maybe one day, at some point in the future, I will teach history, Bible, team sports, CrossFit, reading, music appreciation, ESL, or geography if somebody needs it. I now know that I have the experience. <laughs>